Hello everyone, I'm Stefan and in this odd bonsai video I'll be growing wisteria seedlings from seed for a future bonsai project. I'll go through the entire process of germinating seeds to obtain wisteria seedlings like these. So let's start with the germination process. Wisterias produce seed pods which contain several flat, disc-like seeds. The plant has an interesting seed dispersal mechanism. As the wisteria seed pods dry out in spring, they start to twist, introducing an increasing tension in the pods, which eventually causes the seed pods to pop open, flinging the seeds in all directions. So, keep this in mind when you bring wisteria pods inside and hear something going pop in the middle of the night. These are the seeds that I collected from four wisteria pods. For starting the germination process, I place the wisteria seed in a jar and soak them for 3 days in water kept at room temperature. Some recommend wounding the hard outer shell or using lukewarm water to help the germination process. In my case, none of these were necessary. 3 days later, after the seeds were well hydrated, I drained out the water, leaving only enough to keep the seeds in a humid environment after putting a lid on the jar. The jar should be inspected daily or every other day to let fresh air inside and check for germinated seeds. Several days later, there were already 3 germinated seeds, with this one being the most developed of the 3. Notice the size difference between a dry seed as it comes out of the pod and a freshly germinated one. I took these three seeds out of the jar to pot them in soil. For planting the germinated wisteria seeds, I'm just using regular potting compost. Each seed is placed into the pot just below the soil surface and then covered with a thin layer of compost. The final step in the potting process is watering which was required since the compost was pretty dry in my case. It's been 3 more days and it looks like all the wisteria seeds have sprouted. Let's take a closer look. I'm taking out all the seeds to check if there's any left unsprouted. This seed shows no signs of germination yet, so it will go back into the jar. For now, I'm just placing the seeds on a piece of wet paper towel to prevent them from drying up until they are potted. I potted up all the newly sprouted seeds, and since I didn't have enough containers, I just put multiple seeds in each container. The seeds that I potted 3 days ago don't show any signs yet, but I'm sure they will pretty soon. In a few more days, little wisteria plants should start to pop up from the soil. And of course, I'm keeping my last wisteria seed in the jar here, because I'm pretty sure it will germinate as well. Sure enough, this is how the last seed looked like 5 days later. It is now ready to join its sister plants which have started to produce green shoots sticking out of the soil. And this is how the wisteria seedlings look like after two more weeks. A wisteria plant has developed from each seed and they are all growing really well. I grew these seedlings inside, since the outside temperatures are still too low. For comparison, here's the wisteria I grow in my garden, on which flower buds are just starting to swell. I did bring the seedlings outside on warm sunny days. There were however some unwanted side effects. The first was caused by some birds that thought they might get a delicious snack out of the wisteria seedlings. This seedling here was snapped off from here and another one was just completely gone. The second thing that happened to the seedlings after putting them outside to get more light and sun was that some leaves got sunburned. There's one example here and another one here. This is just because I got careless and I left them out into direct sun without hardening them off properly beforehand. Fortunately the damage is minor with the most of the leaves not being affected at all and most importantly I learned my lesson. 
I certainly got way more Wisteria seedlings than I initially hoped for. I didn't expect the germination rate to be that high. So I will be selecting one or two of these seedlings to grow them into future bonsai trees and I'll be giving the rest of them away to friends or neighbors that may want one. I'm going to pot each of the two selected wisteria seedlings in one of these nursery pots. They may seem quite large, but wisteria is a pretty vigorous grower, so they will have enough room to develop a nice root system. I'm going to fill them up with a 50-50 mix of perlite and normal potting compost. These are the two seedlings that I selected, so next I'll be planting them into the nursery pots. For this I'm just creating a depression in the middle of the pot and then place the seedling in it. This time I'm planting the seed deeper into the pot so it doesn't attract the interest of any curious birds. The same operation is then repeated on the other seedling. And of course, a thorough watering is in order to complete the transplanting of these seedlings. Now that these two seedlings are all potted up, all we can do is let them grow. And of course, I must find new owners for this bunch of seedlings here. If you have any suggestions of what else could be done with these many wisteria seedlings, please leave a comment in the section down below. Also, if you found the video useful, let me know by pressing the like button. That's all for this video, thank you for watching and see you in the next Odd Bonsai video.